Point Weather Report is sponsored by Anderson Plumbing, Heating and Air. Nobody wows clients like we do. And ABC 10 News meteorologist Angelica Campos is also in person with our forecast today. <laughs> I know I'm back. It was nice to be in the Macon Island last week and just kind of getting ready for Memorial Day. Of course, we're back in the studio and the weather is going to be changing, heating up this week. Let's talk about that. And also some extreme weather happening across the nation. It seems like that's been the story for the entire spring season so far. Look at that 80s in Houston, 90s in Dallas, and then to the north in Casper, 45 degrees, 48 in Denver. Now, what's even more impressive is that the storm that's moving across the northern Rockies it's actually producing snow. It is almost June and Colorado continues to see snow. They had snow last week and a few weeks before that, so it seems like they are really just not saying goodbye to winter just yet, but those extremes eventually lead to severe weather. So we're going to be watching that as it travels across the plains and across the central portion of the nation. As we look at our region, not a lot of clouds, clear conditions, but if we look from Otai Mountain, look at that. That's a marine layer sitting out there. It's going to be returning tonight. Low clouds, patchy fog can be expected pretty much every night and every morning, but with high pressure developing, that's going to lead to clear conditions much quicker throughout the day. And you can see it here in our marine your future cast 630 in the morning. We have clouds mostly near the coast, clear inland, and then by 11, everyone will enjoy sunshine. So a great day tomorrow. Looking at clouds returning on Thursday. Same story in the morning clouds. Eventually we'll see more sunshine. High pressure is going to lead to those temperatures rising a little bit more each day. Most likely they will peak on Thursday in the mountains, even through a Friday, but we'll see temperatures drop in a few degrees as this uh, kind of levels off becomes more of a zonal pattern. And that's where the, the warm air just kind of travels across the nation without any flux. So you see storms staying to the north and dry, warm weather staying across our region. Since yesterday, we've seen temperatures go up in Escondido, 4 degrees, Ramona about the same, just like Poway, but near the coast is very similar to yesterday. So not a lot of changes. The biggest change was, of course, more sunshine, the marine layer clearing quicker, and a beautiful sunny day across the county. In Carlsbad right now, it is 66 degrees, 69 Julian, 68 in National City, over towards Humboldt, 70 and 65 in Chula Vista. As we break it down hour by hour tonight. Clouds returning after 9 p.m. at the coast with temperatures around 60 degrees to start off the day tomorrow. Inland communities also looking at clouds late overnight, but clearing quicker by 7 a.m. It'll be a nice combination of clouds and sunshine by 8 o'clock. Nothing but sunshine, so just a beautiful day. 75 degrees comfortable as temperatures peak tomorrow at the coast then back down to 70 on Saturday and Sunday. Now complains about that. That's comfortable looking good. Inland communities mid 80s Wednesday, Thursday back to the 70s over the weekend and then a few more 80s on Monday and Tuesday, which of course with June arriving, it's expected that we're going to see that warm up 79 degrees in the mountains tomorrow. The winds will be a concern on Friday. It'll bring a combination of low humidity, warm conditions and the winds picking up. So if there's a day this week with warmer conditions to watch for for fire danger, it would be on Friday. Of course, if we're cautious and we think about what we do, we can always prevent fires from starting. Good advice. And you know me, I'm up at all hours and I found this week to be very pleasant. So thank nice. you, Angelica. <laughs>